Checking in with the local shelter, Ohio SPCA, we've got the board member, Lisa Harding, with us. And Lisa, who do you have with you? I have little Stronghold here with me, Strong Hand, excuse me. Um, he came in from a local hoarding situation with some other dogs. Oh. We estimate that he's probably about six to seven years old. It's always hard to tell. Um, but he loves to go on walks. He likes to smile. He's not doing that right now. He's a little nervous. <laughs> Um, but he's a great dog. If somebody's looking for a lap dog, he's very friendly. Um, I just had him up here with the cats. Doesn't seem to mind the cats. So he'd make somebody a great pet. All right. And he's ready to go. And I'm sure you have many more cats and dogs that are ready to go too. We do. We currently have about 50 dogs in the shelter. Not all are quite ready. Um, we don't adopt them until uh, we've evaluated them. They've been spayed, neutered, chipped, and have gotten all their vaccines. All right, very good. So let's move on to, we're gonna to try to help you guys out. You wanna hold a garage sale. Tell us the details about that. We do. On Memorial Day weekend, we're gonna hold a garage sale on Saturday. Um, I believe it's May 26th is the date of that Saturday. And so we're looking for people to come out and shop, but we're also looking for donations. So if anyone is having a garage sale and they have leftover items, they weren't able to um, sell themselves, please bring them out to the shelter and uh, donate them to our cause. All right, so you'll take a little bit of everything, household items, you know, clothes, whatever? Well, we prefer not to have clothes if possible, okay. um, but everything else we will gladly accept. And if they need help getting them here and they're local, um, please let us know. We'll send somebody out there for pickup. Okay. Are there any special hours you want the drop off for the items? We're here every day from nine to four. Uh, come around the back. We do have a doorbell back there and a little lobby area. They can either place the items right inside the lobby or ring the doorbell and we'd be happy to come out and get them. All right. So we can help you out with the garage sale, but also you always need help with volunteers, right? We do, especially this time of year. Um, we need help with maintenance, both outside and inside, lawn mowing. Uh, we do have a lawnmower here. If somebody would just like to donate a few hours to come out and mow the grass for us once a week, we would truly appreciate that. We also need help with, uh, for volunteers, walking dogs, um, socializing, just spending time with our cats. Whatever they'd like to do, uh, we, can, we can put them to work. All right, so the easiest way to start volunteering to, to contact you guys and then coordinate schedules? Exactly. We have an application we ask them to complete, um, and then we will set up a time to bring them in, take them on a tour, and um, put them to work. All right. Lisa, thank you very much for joining us today and sharing, and hopefully we get more adoptions of the dogs and cats. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. All right, don't go away. New edition continues in a moment.